Propellers are awesome. I love them so much. I reckon they're one of the most important parts of your boat. Um, you've got your motor connected to one of these, which is transferred into thrust through one of these. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences between designs. All of these props here fit on the same motor, yet they all perform very, very differently. Um, my interest in props came really strong when I started powerboat racing and realized the, the massive differences a little tweak in a propeller blade or design can do to the performance, the speed, or how the boat handles. So um, yeah, I love them so much. I uh, love them so much that I actually built this one from scratch. Um, there's a video on the channel about that um, if you're interested. But anyway, let's get into talking about some of the differences. I will be testing all of these propellers on a boat um, and yeah, max speed, GPS readouts, everything like that, I'm gonna be doing on those. Um, so if you're interested in that, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to. Yeah, as I said, these propellers here are all for the same motor. These ones, these four here, are actually all 11 pitch. So they're the same pitch, but it's interesting when you look at them because you can see that these bottom two, the angle of the blades, looks a lot less than these top two, and yet they're still all 11 pitch. And the reason for that is the rake angle, the angle in here. So these bottom two, the blades are quite a low rake angle. These top two, the blades are connected to the hub with more of an angle like that. So a, a low rake will be a blade that's connected on, you know, pretty square off here, very standard sort of style propeller. Um, and then a high rake propeller will have more of an angle here. So this angle here where the blades are connected on. What a high rake propeller does is it holds the water in on the blade much better, whereas you know these two here will be more likely to cavitate when you do a sharp turn. Um, yeah, which you know on a on a sort of standard rig that may not be an issue. Um, so also this propeller here has quite quite a good cup on the back of that blade there. That also assists to stop cavitation. Um, so a propeller like that, you can actually run a lot higher and it's gonna be less prone to cavitation, even if it does suck some air in from the surface. These bottom two, <laughs> any, any air at all that comes in from the surface, they're gonna cavitate straight away, which means, yeah, lots of air around the blade and you lose thrust completely. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll put the bevel on some of these and just have a look at the difference between them. Uh, it'll be interesting to do this before we actually test them on the boat. Um, these two here will be tested on that same boat. We've got a 13 pitch here, um, which yeah will be interesting, and also a nine pitch four blade. So yeah, that'll be interesting as well, just to yeah sort of spec out the difference between top speed and handling and bite and all that sort of stuff. All right, so I've chosen these two. These are still both 11 pitch um, because they are the most extreme difference between them. That one there is uh, yeah, stainless, obviously, but it's very much a copy of a standard aluminium propeller. Very, very, very similar um, yeah, blade shape and rake angle. Um, so, if I put a bevel onto these blades, I'll do it on the top one. So I'll try and do it so that it's square out from the center hub. I'll do it about in the middle of the blade. There we go. So this, that's it about there. So it still, it still has a little rake. Um, there are propellers which actually bend back the other way and they're called weedless propellers. So anything, any weed or anything that does get caught on the blades just sort of falls off. So yeah, very, very big difference there. We're probably looking at about a you know, seven or eight degree difference on the, the rake on those propellers.
Yeah, so that's it there. Very big difference. So, and also another simple thing is that little bell on the end there, um, a lot of people wonder what that's for. So the exhaust gases that come out of here, that sort of creates a high pressure tube for those exhaust gases to run through in the water. Uh, without that, um, it is quite easily, especially at low speeds, for the exhaust gases to come in and, and sort of contaminate the, the water in here and cause cavitation, especially whilst turning. So as the, as the motor turns, the exhaust gases will come, come around that side or this side. So, yes, so exciting. <laughs> I love props. So as we saw, these two propellers here have a very different rake angle. It's the way that the blades are connected to the hub. But the way a propeller pitch is measured is on these blade faces here. So if we were to grab a bevel, is a rough way to show you, um, and it's reasonably square off that blade in the center of the blade. So that bevel now is touching the leading edge and the trailing edge of this low rake propeller. If we do the same thing on this high rake propeller in the center of the blade, and pretty square to that blade, also touching the trailing edge and the leading edge of that blade. So you can see how they've said that these are both 11 pitch. Um, that means that they will travel 11 inches each turn through the water without any resistance. Um, but these propellers, I can guarantee, will behave very, very differently in the water. Um, I should probably wrap it up there because I could go on and on about these propellers. Um, but yeah, very much looking forward to trying these out and seeing the differences on them. And we might do a video later on performance propellers, um, racing propellers, the difference between those and these yeah, more standard sort of stuff. But anyway, um, I better wrap it up there because I do love propellers and I will just keep going on and on about them. Cheers. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see these props tested all in the same boat and check out the differences between them. Also, yeah, I'll be doing a fiberglass boat full rebuild series um, coming soon as well. Um, and yeah, that will be a yeah really good one. I'm looking forward to that. All right, cheers.